All right, everybody, happy Monday. Hopefully you're doing well. Um, yeah, let's get started here. So five, two, one, day one. This is something we're gonna start today and you're gonna finish tomorrow. By the way, for today, you do need five, two, one resource page. Now it is in the packet. It's a handout I gave you, or, or you can also print it from here. Um, I've included it in this assignment. The other thing I've included in this assignment is a short video about the, um, it says I did a rod race. Um, it's a race that we're gonna be addressing I really kind of want you to watch it. Um, in fact, I prefer that you watch it right now. So if you could actually pause from this video, go back and watch the Iditarod race. It's really cool, um, but it explains kind of what we're gonna be doing in class today. So if you don't watch it, it's gonna be kind of weird, like kind of what on earth is he talking about, okay? So please pause this or stop this video, go watch the other video first, and then come back and finish watching this. Got it? Go. Okay, well, I know that was kind of a weird transition, so hopefully you were able to open another window or something like that. Let's get started with today's lesson. So today we're doing 521. When are they the same? Introduction to system of equations. System of equations is a big concept that we're just going to start addressing today. Um, in this section, as you see, it's section two of chapter five. So this is kind of the, the meat of this uh, this chapter. So system of equations, we'll start it now. There is some more complex stuff that we'll be doing later, but yeah, this is kind of challenging, so please focus. In section 4.1, you graph lines and curves that represent tile patterns. But what happens when you graph two lines at the same time? What can you learn? Today, you will use data, graphs, and rules to examine what happens when two lines or curves intersect. So here's our problem, 5.23. Now, hopefully you watch the other video. Really, watch the other video if you haven't. Uh, because it really explains the Iditarod trail slog sled dog race, okay? Otherwise, you're going to be like, what on earth is he talking about? But it's a famous, it's famous for its incredible length and its use of dogs. In 2015, the sled drivers, known as mushers, started their dog sleds at Fairbanks, Alaska, and rode through the snow for several days until they reached Nome, Alaska. Along the route, there were stations where the competitors checked in, so data was kept on the progress of each team. So when they stopped at these stations, they were able to check in and they knew when they were coming and everything was cool. Joyla and her team of dogs, Joyla is one of the main people here. Joyla and her team of dogs checked in at the first five checkpoints. Her buddy, Evie, left Nome, the finish line, on the day the race started in an effort to meet Joyla and offer encouragement. Evie traveled along the route toward the racers on her snowmobile. The progress of each person is shown on the graph that follows. And this is the handout. This is a handout that I ask you to have. You really, really need to make sure you need to have it, okay? It's going to help you a lot. But we have five questions. All of the answers to these five questions is on this graph. You're just going to have to use some, some work, some analysis, some, some figuring things out. Think of it as a puzzle, okay? So which data represents Evie, which represents Joyla, and how can you tell? Now again, we, we go back to here and I just want to point out Joyla and her team of dogs, they are the ones competing. Evie is a friend that's coming in giving encouragement, okay? Which one of these is Evie, which one is Joyla? Um, there are triangles and, and circles. Now remember, your task is to answer these five questions. Don't you dare for this first one say, um, circles or, um, triangles. No, I want you to say the triangles represent ED or the circles represent ED, okay? Because, and then which one represents Joyla? The other whatever, the circle or the triangles represent Joyla because blah, blah, blah. How do you know? How are you figuring this out? Then, when did EV meet Joyla? Now, that is not shown here, but you can do something with this graph that will help you answer that question based on what you see there. I want you to analyze it and think about it and work it out, okay? How long was the race? Ooh, can you determine that from here? Yes, you can. Now again, you might want a ruler or some other source that might help you with this, but how can you tell that? Who traveled faster? Explain how you know. And approximately how long did it take Joyla to actually finish the race? How did you find your answer? Now these five questions, this is it. This is your work for today. Watch the video, okay? Watch the other video, the, the one about the Iditarod dog sled race. Watch this video and answer these five questions. Can you do that? Um, that's my challenge. Do you think you can answer all five of these questions? It's kind of, kind of tricky, 
So uh, tomorrow you're going to bring this to class. We're going to talk about these five questions. I want to be able to ask any of you what you found, and you should be able to justify what you came up with and why. All right? So that's your challenge. That's what I need you to do today. Cool? All right. Have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow.